the magnificent structures of ancient Rome, nestled in the heart of the modern Italian capital, once a symbol of an empire's structure, order, rule of law, and its implementation. Fast forward 2,000 years and this is modern Rome, a web of winding streets, backed up traffic, and chaotic commerce. The past and present overlap. Where there were once public baths, there are now public bathrooms. Italian Prime Minister Mario Monti insists restoring modern Rome to its ancient glory requires a return to its ancient principles. And some agree. Gino Ferretti is frustrated with modern Rome. Last year he returned home after more than three decades abroad. He dresses like a modern gladiator for paying tourists because he says he can't find any other work. Roma used to be, have great ideas how to organize everything, but things have changed, you know. The history, has, uh, the modern time has changed quite different, you know, the big, big time. People like Ferretti say lack of order is to blame for Italy's economic woes, a public debt that's creeping towards $2 trillion, whereas ancient Rome's military and monetary might once reached northwestern Europe, the Middle East, and North Africa, its modern domestic economy is now shrinking, not growing, by around 1.5 percent. And government efforts to change that, which include cuts of 5 billion euros in public spending, have yet to prove fruitful. This is the ancient Mercato Traiano. It was once an administrative center that oversaw the forum just meters away. A modern thoroughfare now divides the two with traffic and pedestrians, but the site gets few visitors. That's because there's no access from the main street. Now the director here wants that changed. That requires money from the government, money it says it doesn't have. Some say Italy needs to invest less in the past and more in its future. People like Adriano Bernucci, an art teacher who sells sketches of Rome's historic sites to help pay Rome's rising rents. I think people should not look back at the past. They should look instead at the present and build the future on the quality of the present. I think we Italians have had quite enough of the past. People here seem to agree the government needs to do something to help. They just can't agree if it should look forward or look back. Roe Ruttenberg, CCTV, Rome.